today I'm going to be teaching you how you can make an open core EFI for Haswell processors. Now, um, if you guys haven't watched my um, other open core video, if you're using a Skylake system, I recommend you watch that because um, a lot of the stuff I'm going to be showing in this video is going to be the same, except for the config that I'm going to be making, the configuration. Now, I got this YouTube comment asking me to make a open core EFI for Haswell and that's why I'm making this video so I'm just doing a um, kind of like a user request now before we continue I'd like to show you guys how you can um, you know get your CPU configure well CPU model so that's the main thing about open core you see um, you need to know what kind of CPU you're using now the easiest way to solve this is just to go to the Windows um, menu here or go to the start menu now right click it and then click task manager now for some people it may look like this now mainly for people who just installed windows it may look like this click more details and it'll expand the window now then you want to click um, this tab here and it'll be called performance just click that and then you'll have your CPU you'll have your memory you'll have your hard disks I've got free then you have your um, Ethernet. So, I need to show my IP address then. Um, so, this is our CPU model. Now, you'll see that I'm using a Intel Core i7, um, and this is a Sandy Bridge processor because I'm using the second gen CPU. Now, the, the only digit you want to focus on here is the, well, the thousandths, right? And this is two. Now, if you're using um, for example, a 7th gen CPU, it'll say 7, or if you're using a 5th gen CPU, it'll say 5, and you know, it goes on. And if you're using 10th um, gen and over, um, then you want to focus on, you know, the um, last two digits, so if you have 10, 11, or 12, um, which I'm, I'm pretty sure 11th gen and 12th gen aren't supported for open core, because they'll receive a lot of issues with your graphics and stuff like that. But mainly you want to focus on the CPU generation. So I'm using a second gen CPU, which is an Intel Core i7, two, um, 2600. So you want to look that up. So mine is an Intel Core i7. And then it's 2600. And then it'll load up this website. Sorry, load up um, all the links. But what you want to go on is Intel Core i7. Now go to the Intel website. It'll say HTTPS, slash W sorry www.intel.com you want to go to that website and then you have your CPU model there you want to focus on the Intel website because that's where we're going to be getting the main information now you have this website by Intel so there's no need to worry if we're going to get a virus or anything because this is Intel they made your processor they won't do anything you'll see you've got your code name and then you got the code name so products formerly Sandy Bridge now this is the main thing about our generation of CPU this is the code name. So this is Sandy Bridge. So we're going to close this. I'm going to click getting started. Now you want to keep Sandy Bridge in mind and make sure you don't forget this. So you can close off all the other tabs. And yeah. So um, yeah, let's begin. Before I continue, I'd like to show my new Discord server. Now, if you haven't joined, I recommend you do join because um, if you have any help with your Hackintosh, um, you can post it in our Discord server. Because I've mainly designed this because we're getting a lot of messages in the comment section about um, help and I can't really keep up with the comments because I normally get notifications and I have to keep checking the, you know, the comments. So instead, I'd like you to post and join on Discord server because we do have a nice community. It's pretty small, but a lot of the people on here are pretty kind, including me. <laughs> and um, you know, it's a nice server. And we will once we get more um, people in the server, it'll be even more great. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. We've got the general channel. We've got off topic. Got set up. If you want to show off your setup, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So please do join our Discord server, and I'll leave that Discord server link in the description and in the comments. Please do not comment about help in the comment section, because I won't be able to check it out. So make sure you post it in the Discord server, and if you don't have a Discord account, just try and create one. It's not that hard. But um, anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. So we want to go to the website that I'll leave this in the description below. 
but this will take you to the open core install guide. You want to click getting started and we want to click making the install in Mac OS, well Windows. Now I want to download, I'm not going to make um, the installer because it's pretty simple and um, I've done it before so I'm not going to do this but I'm gonna go to um, you know it's pretty simple and you guys can go to my Mavericks in store and uh, follow that tutorial but you wanna download macrecovery.py oh, well don't download macrecovery.py but it'll take you to the open core install package then you wanna go here and you wanna click open core um, release and make sure you download the latest release right so once you just click that and it will download it and then once it's finished um, you want to click this triangle here I'm going to click show in folder All right so um, you'll have you know your file explorer and have all your downloads I've hidden them so you guys don't see um, so you have this folder here you want to click it and you want to click right click and then click extract all then you'll have this window here oops yeah um, so you know, extract it. Um, should extract the files. Click extract and extract all the files. All right, it's finished. So because the other file explorer. And um, we'll minimize this because we don't need it at right now. We'll use it later. Now, before we continue, we also need to download Python, which is really crucial because a lot of the software we're going to be using requires Python. So, click Downloads and then click Windows and then click Python 3.10.6. Alright, it's done. So, just click Download. Now I'm not going to go through this neither because I'm starting to get sick of downloading, re install, well, deleting Python and then reinstalling it. But you want to take Python um, to path and then click install and you know. I'm going to cancel this. So download Python, you know, you shouldn't know how to do it. Make sure you click that path thing and then yeah. So um, that will just enable our environment variables. So once you finish downloading um, Opacle um, 8.3, 0 0.8.3, um, I'm not gonna download the kex. I'm not gonna do anything additional. I'm just gonna be making the config because you know it's gonna take too long. I don't wanna make this recording too long. But um, uh, let's see. Cortex 64. I'm gonna keep it like this. Open call. Um, so you wanna go to documents. I'm gonna copy sample dot list or p list to x64 efi open call. Um, and paste it here. Now it'll be called sample.plist. You want to right click it and you want to click rename and you want to name it config.pist. And um, there you go. So uh, make sure ACP is um, you know, fill up, um, filled up with all your um, what was it called drivers and then inside the drivers folder um, delete wherever you well keep what was it called open runtime and keep um, open canopy and if you're using an old computer use a BIOS video text download all your kex you know the drill uh, resources um, if you want to get to the GUI then um, delete all these and download the um, binary resource and then tools you don't need to worry about tools but you want to get config.plist now I'm going to minimize this and next I want to download um, proper tree now I'm making this for Haswell, so I'm going to go to the Haswell side and I want to download proper tree code and download zip you want to do the same thing here, you want to right click it and click extract all extract All right. Then um, once it's finished extracting, click proper tree dot pat. So double click that. And then you have this command prompt window. Minimize this. I'll also close that. And then I'll get this um, window which should appear. Yep, it's on my other screen. So we'll get this window here. 
Now, you need Python for this, so make sure you download Python. Now, I'm going to click File, I'm going to click Open. And then I'm going to go to Downloads. Uh, I'm going to go to Property. Then Property, that's not yeah. And, um, oops, no, not Property. Um, I meant Open Core. X64, EFI, Open Core. Yeah, you want to open up config.plist. Alright, once you've done that, you want to uh, what you want to do is delete all these um, warnings because they're not really needed it right now. So I'm going to click File. Um, now you want to make sure you click OC Clean Snapshot and then click Select Folder. Yeah. And then what I'll do is. It, uh, no thanks. Yeah. Um, it'll fill up all the gaps. So, yeah. All right. Now, what OC Clean Shot, Clean Snapshot did was fill out all the planks. So we don't need um, a CPI, um, neither booter because there's nothing in booter that we need. But we do need to do something in in device properties. So I'm gonna make two windows here. Yeah. Should probably make it here. Right. So I have two windows. I'll make things more easier. Now, um, let's minimize booter as well. Kernel. Yes. VRAM platform font. You're fine. Okay. So, first of all, we need to patch our graphics. Now, to patch our graphics, you need the whatever green text. Now, make sure you download whatever green and paste into the text folder. And uh, I haven't done that because I couldn't be bothered to. But make sure you download whatever green, the kernel extension. So, um, create a new value. So just copy this, paste it here. I want to name this to um, PCI root and then etc. Once you've done that, copy this and paste it two times. Right. I'm going to copy um, Apple IG platform ID. Oops. Paste here. Now, I'm um, using this top Okay, so you know you can select either one of these. Now, if you're using Broadbell, desktop Broadbell, select this. If you're using um, only used for computing tests and doesn't drive the display, select that. I'm just I am gonna drive the display, so I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here. Then you also need to copy all this. Let's copy that. I'm actually I'm gonna need two more. Let's copy that. Paste it there. Oops. Copy this. Paste it here. Copy this. Paste it here. And copy that as well. Alright. So I'm gonna copy that as well. There you go. So everything should look like this in um, device properties. So make sure it looks like this. You got Apple IG platform ID, um, frame buffer patch enable, um, frame, buffer, uh, frame buffer stolen mem, and then frame buffer FB mem. And then you also have de um, device ID as well. Right. So next, um, we've got kernel. And so kernel, um, we're not going to need to do much. Because um, obviously, clean snapshot has sorted some stuff out, so we don't need to worry. Alright, so we need to focus on quirks here. Yeah. Now, if you if you do have um, a CFG lock in your BIOS, um, disable this. Um, yeah, if you don't have it, uh, yeah. Okay, if you don't have CFG lock and you're running uh, Mac OS 10.10 or older, enable this. Now, um, if you do have, oh, okay, so this is for 10.10, .10, and if this is for, um, well, pretty much any um, operating system, so I not need the CFG, but it's disabled in BIOS. 
Okay, so if you do have um, CFG lock in BIOS and if you um, disabled it, you don't need this. Um, disable it, no matter my put. Now, if you do have um, Intel virtualization technology, you want to uh, disable that. And I wanted to also disable um disable I um Lapic kind of panic. Um if you have a HP machine, enable this. I don't have a HP machine, I've got a um I built this gigabyte computer, so I don't really need to um use that. Uh panic no okay, stomp. Set that to yes or true. Uh power timeout kind of panic, set that to true. And um if you're Ma if you're running uh, Mac OS, I think it was Big Sur, um, disable that. If you're running um, pretty much any OS under Mac OS Big Sur, uh, make this true. All right, so now you can see if um, your config. Next, we have um, miscellaneous. Now, you wanna disable hide auxiliary because it. What it'll do is in the whenever you boot your open core. It will hide all of the options, and you won't be able to select your, you know, your um, or your um, installer and stuff like that. So make sure you um, set this to false. All right. Then you got Apple Debug. Sorry, um, yeah, de Debug. So you want to go to Apple Debug here, yeah, and you want to set this to yes. The true. Set this to true. That's true too. And you want to set target to 67. Alright, now um, you want to go to security and you want to set, um, now set default to yes or true. Um, blacklist Apple updates already set to true. Um, set scan, uh, scan policy to zero. Um, set secure boot model dis to disabled. They'll say default, be you need to be running a Mac OS, um, Big Sur, or newer. If you want to set this to default, then um, vault set this to optional. Now, um, what it'll do is, if you don't set this to optional, um, it'll give you a configuration error or some vault error. So make sure you set this to optional. Then you got NVRAM. Now, it's not much to fill out here, but. Um, There's not really much to that. I'm not gonna focus on this. Um, neither platform ID. Now I am gonna make a video in the future on how you patch your SM BIOS and how you can enable all the iMessages and all that stuff. So um, make sure to watch that if you wanna fill out platform ID. Uh, plus, um, I don't wanna download um, SM BIOS again, so I'm not gonna focus on platform ID. And then last we have UFI. Now, if you're running any of these versions, make sure you follow these. So, in APFS, set min date to, well, min date. Then it's got min version, minimum version. Set that to minimum version if you're running any of these versions here. And if you want to, um, don't worry about this if you're running, you know, an older version of, um, well, pretty much Mac OS Serial and, and uh, then you got um, Quirks. Um, yeah. Um, you want to set to ignore. Want to set ignore valid. Sorry, in, ignore invalid flex ratio to um, true. And then unlock F, uh, FS connect. Now this will be set default set to false. Now if you're using a HP motherboard, set this to yes. Um, but otherwise, yeah, we're finished. So, yep, that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, that's. Um, open core finished so what you can do now is um, boot Mac OS and yeah enjoy on your Haswell computer so thanks for watching um, this video if you want you can also check out my patreon um, which will, will which will be in the description below and um, yeah that's pretty much it so I'll see you guys in the next video Bye.